Hi, it's Dwyer. It's Thursday, July the 8th, 2021. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk NBA. Let's talk about the NBA Finals, where right now the Phoenix Suns are up one game to none. What play should we make? But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, it might surprise some people looking at game one. And I know the box score looks terrible. I know the visual was awful. Right? Chris Paul, Devin Booker, getting isolated on Brooke Lopez. Beating him off the dribble, getting short shots, mid-range shots. But just understand, both of these teams, right, Phoenix and Milwaukee, are among the best defensive teams in the entire NBA, right? Both teams have defensive standouts. Let me point out, with regard to Milwaukee, just understand that Brooke Lopez, who I mentioned earlier, was once second team all defense in the entire league. Understand that Giannis has been a defensive player of the year. Understand that among the very best perimeter defenders in the entire league are Drew Holiday and P.J. Tucker. Both of them. P.J. Tucker was the person harassing Kevin Durant a series ago. I'm expecting adjustments to be made. I'm expecting a much lower scoring. Game two and on. Right? I think the guys on Phoenix who look like world beaters have some holes in their game. Right? Chris Paul isn't a volume three-point shooter. DeAndre Ayton isn't that great from outside. Right? There's going to be a reversion to the mean, in my opinion. The play I like here right, is if you're dealing with an online casino. Understand they normally have a range of what they call alternative lines, right? For series as big as the NBA Finals, legacy casinos should also have alternative lines. I'm looking at the alternative over-unders. And what I've done is I've picked the highest alternative over under that I could find, right? 226.5. Just get the highest over under number you can find and take the under. Understand, the 226.5 right now on and check the legality in your location. I know these videos go out outside the United States. On cloudbet.com, a Canadian site. Right now, on the under 226.5, you're getting a minus 186. I believe those are fairly decent odds. Given the fact that both of these teams were among the best in the league defensively. And given that, I get the feeling in NBA series like this, some teams will come out game one and will treat it like Novak Djokovic treats the first set. They'll throw out a certain defense and they'll try to figure out how you're going to react to it. Milwaukee now knows. They know. And I understand they haven't beaten Phoenix all year. But a couple of the games were close. Milwaukee now knows Phoenix's game plan. Milwaukee now knows that Phoenix is going to force a pick and roll. And they're going to try to get Devin Booker or Chris Paul isolated on 
a Brooke Lopez, right? Lopez, who actually, in my opinion, plays big men at times better than Giannis does, right? They're going to try to isolate Lopez on smaller guys. Well, Walkie now knows that. So I believe Budenholzer, who used to be the head coach of the Atlanta Hawks, in other words, this guy has been around for years. This guy has been successful in different places. He's going to make the adjustment in game two. And just mark these words. This series is not over, right? I'm not saying who wins the series, but this series is not over. The one thing I believe I can count on, and I'm just thinking for myself here, you think for yourself, is a much better defensive effort from the Milwaukee Bucks in game two, right? Much better defensive effort from the Bucks in game two. I just want people to also remember that the Bucks at times played inspired defense against a team that, in my opinion, is more gifted offensively than the Phoenix Suns. And those were the Brooklyn Nets. Let's remember, between James Harden and Kevin Durant, just those two guys have seven or more scoring titles. You add in Kyrie Irving, and what I want you to do is to look at the regular season three-point shooting percentage of Joe Harris, who's also on the team, one of the best three-point shooters in all of basketball, and then realize that Milwaukee, and I understand there were injuries along the way, Kyrie Irving going down, but just understand that Milwaukee in that series made the defensive adjustments needed to be competitive, right? I think you're going to see a lot of defensive adjustments. Even a lay person like me, just watching the games, knows Chris Paul's favorite places to shoot the basketball from, right? Folks need to realize that there's a bunch of chess playing going on in NBA Finals, Right? Milwaukee's not going to roll out the defense in game one that they're going to use when they get deeper in the playoffs, right? Deeper in the series. So, for me, the best play here, given that the game's in Phoenix, given that Phoenix right now is tasting the possibility of their first NBA championship, given that everyone is hyped. I believe it's hard to pick a winner here. I believe the shrewder play here is to assume a slower pace. Right? I like the under. I'm going to play it where I get as much under as I can. And to do that, I have to deal with the alternative lines. On the alternative line, Take the highest over-under number you can take and take the under on it. For me, that was a 226.5. I'm taking the under. The odds to me are healthy, right? It's worth the few extra points you get on the alternative line. I got a minus 186. I'll take it. I like the under in game two of the NBA Finals. I'm expecting much better defense from the Milwaukee Bucks, right? I don't believe it's going to be that hard, right? I believe what they might do is say, okay, we need to shut down Devin Booker. Now, you saw Patrick Beverly of the Los Angeles Clippers do a pretty good job of harassing Devin Booker in that Clipper series. Right? Understand, the Clippers were shorthanded. Right? No, no Kawhi. And they were able to harass Devin Booker. I think what they're going to do here is make some adjustments, tell Drew Holiday, look, let's not switch on the pick and roll. 
They're going to do certain things. Chris Paul, all you have to do with Chris Paul, and I'm not saying it's easy to stop Chris Paul. What I'm saying is it's possible. All you have to do is push him away from his spots. Force him to shoot further outside. Right? I like the under in game two. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.